Okay, I just did a painting and it's right over here and I've only got a tiny little space left and some pigments left so I wanted to quickly grab a canvas and lucky for me I had one prepared earlier and I've got a cardboard underneath it just to hold it in place and I'm just going to pop it over here maybe I'll do it this way because I'm really running out of space here guys if you could only see my studio you wouldn't believe it so in it goes so I've got some leftover pigments from the last painting and oh, not much of that left but what I'm going to do is not sure if I'm going to have enough to cover the whole thing but let's see we might just do some some kind of um, oh can you even see that oops come a little bit closer sorry um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do some side kind of pouring just dragging the, the cup now and just kind of helping that move a little bit like so pop it over there and actually I will move it from there just because um, it's in my way so that um, deep ocean green looks pretty dark there so you just mix it a little bit lighter and when you spread it like this you can kind of see the color the true color of it so that's all I'm doing is just spreading it spreading it to the edge for now you never never know what's gonna happen now I'm always very careful with what I put next to each color so I won't be going with the red in here however I will go with the white I've got lots of it so what I'm gonna do is just go what I might do is just flip this around the other way because it's gonna be easier and you'll be able to see better what I'm doing I'm just gonna go in with the white not all of it I'm gonna use some of it uh, just watching to see how this emerges and it's pulling that way surprise surprise because we all know how well I always level things Oops. so I'm just going to kind of push it to up to that green and just go try to keep it clean you know don't know what's going to happen yet gonna leave it like that for now and then I'm going to go in with my purple rain which is gorgeous of course try to go as close as possible and I might just put the whole thing in there right next to that white because I think it's gonna go really well with the white okay and now just bring it up to the edge a little bit and then bring it up to the white and again it looks quite dark doesn't it so if you left it like this it would look pretty dark but this is very very thick see when I do that you can actually see the color you can mix it a little bit um, mix a bit less of the pigment oh no I can't believe it I stuck my knuckle inside my painting this one next to me here oh boy I better be careful um, but once I get um, all of this merging together it's gonna be fine actually I'm gonna help it a bit and just do that look at that white and that Oh la la, looks so cool. Okay, that's that one. Now I might go with my blue. This is a sapphire blue. I'm just going to go again. Just dragging the whole cup and making that nice thin line. Which doesn't really matter because I'm going to be doing this and just merging it in with my royal. 
Oh, uh, sorry, not my royal, my uh, purple rain. Okay, that is that one. Get it out of the way. Now I might go with. I might go in with a little bit more white. Actually, I might just go in with a red just to break up that. Again. Straight across. And the whole thing. The whole thing is gone. Okay, so you can use your finger to kind of help it along a little bit. Like that. It's much quicker for me. And I always have some of my lovely um, alcohol wipes to kind of clean my hands as I go. Right. It looks messy. It looks like I messed it up, but that's all right because I'm going to be merging all of them together anyway. And now um, I'm going to go with the white again just to break up. So just be careful what you're putting next to your colours. My hands are dirty now, so I can't use that, but I've got a clean stick here, which I can use to just pull that white all the way to the edge. Oops, not a clean white. Okay, and now I can use my turquoise blue, which I have mixed myself. And look how pretty that is. So that's pretty much everything that I've got. So I'm going to try and spread this a little bit, which is not hard to do. Easy to do, really, because it's pretty thick. It's a thick layer. Once I get the heat onto that, we'll see what happens. Now I'm going to just go around and see what else I can scrape up from wherever. I'm going to switch this around again because it keeps pulling to one side. And bring that up to there a little bit. Now you can mix your colours. I've got lots of this white left which I'm going to just dump in here. Um, you can mix your colours, mix your pastes. But I would suggest you mix it in with your resin first. And then put them together rather than mixing the paste with the paste especially if you're doing small amounts they sometimes don't mix well um, and if you don't have time to do it you, you want to kind of do it right but they mix beautifully with resin and then just add them to another color to make colors how cool is that you don't have to buy every color in the world you can make your own Make some unique colours that uh, nobody else has. Why not? Okay. Now, I've got a tiny little bit of red here. I might put it next to this white and see what happens. I haven't used any black in this piece. Um, I just wanted to use kind of these colours to um, see how they work together black sometimes takes over what else have I got left tiny little bit of this purple purple rain purple rain look at that doesn't look purple but it is trust me it is Oops, you can see it in the cup yeah I'm going to be using my hand now to kind of a little bit more of this green. I know what this is going to look like. It's quite interesting at the moment. And I've got a, like three drops of this clear, which I might just pop in there and just let it let it sit there. Waste not, what not. I always say, just use what you've got. Don't let it go to waste anything any tiny little uh, thing you can scrape up go for it okay i'm going to clean clean my hand a little bit now and just um 
kind of maybe merge these together a little bit mix them about a bit just like that and that colors are mixing but that's all good don't mind because I'm going to be using my heat gun now and that's going to help to mix the colors as well and I'm just uh, kind of tapping down these uh, bare kind of bits right so block your ears now I'm gonna hit it now with a bit of heat Okay, now faster. See, that's what happens when I don't kind of cover all the areas. I get these little bits there that kind of sit there. There's another one with my white. So you've got to cover everything, otherwise it gets stuck there and it doesn't move. Look at that action there. Let's go again. That's getting hot now. Oh, jambalaya. So I'll let it sit a little bit now. Now it's doing its its thing. Look at that there. That is just crazy. That there is crazy. Not so sure about this bit here. So I might just tilt it a little bit. I love that purple. Love this green. I'm gonna tilt it just for the grab something. always have something handy to pour on so I've got this tile which I poured already on before but yeah I'm not too happy with it so I'm just gonna pour over over that some of this can you see that and I'm gonna just pull that purple and look at that look what it's doing it's just doing some crazy stuff right there stop now stop I want to preserve some of that some of that red I absolutely love that absolutely love it it's just so crazy what's going on there and um, might try and bring it back a little bit so I'm just gonna go around now just just because of that green isn't that gorgeous that green and I'm watching this the whole time I'm doing this I'm just watching no, I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna ruin this here needs more heat touching it anymore this is super spectacular I love how that's done that there it's so hot like it's steaming hot 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, use some of this paint here and just go around the sides. But in fact, I don't think I will. I'm just going to leave the drips to go as they are. I don't mind having that kind of funky look where you just have a few drips fall in. Not much here though, so I was hoping to have some more falling down here. So I might just create something just with a with um, some if I can gather some and just kind of just create a drop falling down. That should work. Just um, makes it a bit interesting and balances it out a bit. You can also drag it a bit that way to make it go that way. Um, this is it. I don't think I want to mess with it anymore. I will bring you closer so you can see this craziness um, from from a close up view. Okay, here it is, guys. Uh, looking pretty crazy. These cells have kind of formed and then they created something just on their own. And um, just going around, just checking out all these effects. Whoops, maybe I should just zoom out, it might make it a bit easier. It's a lovely kind of uh, waterfall effect there, you know, like a. Uh, when you see waves and then that uh, foam that kind of drags with a wave. It's beautiful purple and the white mingling, making friends, creating some webs. Look at that. Whoopsie, that didn't work, did it? Just want to go a little bit closer to show you those little cells there. They just look like little beads. Don't they? Quite pleased with that. There you have it, Lares Epoxy Pigments. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll try my hardest to answer every every question that I that you may have. And if I don't know how to answer it, then I will try and find out myself. <laughs> So that uh, I can help you guys out. Oh, sorry, I'm just zooming in looking at that lovely blue. It just actually stayed blue, which is cool. Okay, bye for now.